Hi, welcome to our new demo van. So this is the Transporter T6.1 in Fortana Red. I'm going to give you a guided tour round, um, all the furniture, how it all works, uh, what we've done, um, little um, tweaks that we've done to make it a bit more usable for what I wanted to do with it. Um, show you some like little finishes that we've uh, managed to achieve on it and uh, what's basically the, the overall spec of the van. So um, I'm going to jump outside, spin the camera around and I'll show you what we've been up to. So here we are. So Fortana Red, like we've said, this is our 6.1. So you might have seen these before. We're a big fan of these the twin captain's sport seats. So these are our super sport seats in leather and suede. And we've got plenty of sort of red suede detailing, which follows through from the outside of the van. The van shades, oh, it's just, that's it. There we go, we get out of the way of the sun. So yeah, van shades, blinds all round, suede roof. Sorry, the sunshine really is getting the better of the camera, isn't it? Here we go, and jump inside. Yeah, so suede roof there. Skyline, um, pop top, bifold bed. Uh, it's the only way to go, really. It gives you all of that space at the back of the van, so you can get a lot you know, further into the van uh, with your head height. So this particular furniture setup is our side pods. Side pods that form a U shape, which then form quite a big bed and also allow me to put my bike down the middle of the van, which is what I wanted to do. So this is the second lot of furniture that we've um, tried in this particular van. The first setup, um, although it's good, I liked it, that low level kitchen going all the way through had its advantages. Um, the storage of it wasn't great. The functionality didn't work as I thought it was going to. And um, for me, I was trying to get as uh, a bigger bed as we could have possibly done. So um, this enables us to do this. It's like a U shape, um, but with the added benefit of being able to use that middle section of the van. So we can then have um, like a load through area. So handy for us if we need to go and pick up um, big bulky items, we can take the cushions out of the van and, you know, putting some decent protection down the side, um, we can then, you know, pick up some uh, sheets of uh, timber and uh, other bits and bobs and other cushions and what have you that we uh, that we need to haul around. So this particular unit over here, we'll go through that. We've gone for like a navy blue suede effect uh, with a chunky oak worktop. Uh, on that worktop, we've got wireless charger over here with a little pop-up. There we go. Put it. It's got like USBs, two USB ports in there. That one, and then sockets on the side, a USB C which has become an ever popular and a USB-A. And then on here, we have a 240 socket. We've angled it that way to get the best out of it. So if your lead comes off to the left or to the right or top or bottom of the plug, um, that's gonna work well. So like I said, we've got van shades, blackout blinds, nice little top locker in there. And I think if we open them up, you'll see we've got just nice little struts holding them up. So they don't hit your hand as you're loading it up. Full drawers. Let's slide out. Again, that side there. Nice big cutlery drawer. Yeah. Nice big, decent sized cupboard underneath. Storage underneath the uh, smaller of the two side pods. You can see my bike sat in the middle there with the front wheel sitting on a fork mount. And then some more storage underneath this one. Now, this particular side pod has got a couple of nifty little features. I'll move my shoes out of the way. First one, everybody says, oh, well, I'd go camping if it had a toilet. Well, take a toilet with you, but you don't have to put it on display. We've got our porta potty hidden in the drawer underneath the seat. Thetford 345, which is the nicer of the um, shallow height, uh, porta potties. The 145 is your basic spec. 345 comes with a nice little piston plunger for the flush and a little sight gauge on the front for your level. 
and of course there's still enough room in the back of that cupboard for a couple of bits of your cable reel and some uh, toilet flush stuff and that hides out of the way in there so absolutely great the next thing you might have noticed as well we have no cooker on the worktop now we can do we could put a cooker and a sink in there you know your usual domestic stuff um, or equivalent of you know a little hob there with a sink next to it um does get in the way of the drawers um, but you know you could still you could use them turn them into cupboards or, or whatever you know with just a drop down door rather than a drawer itself um, but I like the drawers and we have no intention on putting a sink in here whatsoever. Out of all the things that we've used in the vans over the last couple of years, um, sink's just not really it for me. Um, little kettle uh, on a stove, yes, absolutely. You know, we'll, we'll do that. We'll, um, we'll put a little stove up there. I've got one of the little camping stoves, quite economical, 15 quid to buy. You know, uh, gas canisters, uh, four gas canisters for like six quid at the garden centre, um, you know, pretty cheap. Stick it on the top there, make a cup of tea first thing in the morning so you ain't got to scare anybody going outside and just your underwear. So yeah, we've got that there and that keeps that worktop nice and clear. This year has shown me one trend in particular and that trend is cooking outside. So let's just open up and I'll show you what we've done from in here. So obviously the rear view of that furniture so again, storage underneath here and storage in here. So this one, you might have seen on our Instagram, got a massive pull out drawer. There we go, hear that click? It's now locked into place. So big pull out drawer, Kadak twin burner sitting on here. Nice little double stove, chopping board inside. So a nice little prep area. Put your cups on there, plates on there, what you're doing, prep and um, cook area over here. Now, we've used this quite extensively over this last week. It is absolutely fantastic. You know, we've been cooking steaks on there, burgers, all sorts, you know, your bacon in the morning, fantastic. Smells, outside, not in the van. You know, anything that's spitting about, then yes, you know, you want to be outside the van. And this is what we have seen a lot of, you know, cooking outside, but under cover of the tailgate so oh yeah van van shades um chair pod a staple absolute must um so this is a game changer for us i absolutely love it like i say it's now locked in that outer position this um totally weight bearing you know we've got loads of stuff hidden underneath it in the little storage drawer underneath there it's full of bike stuff at the minute ridge monkey cooker uh, saucepans and plates and stuff and to get it to go back in just lift the little catch at the end there that releases it and the nice runners take it pretty much nearly all the way in happy days so yeah that's that outside cooking fantastic sit there with your chair grilling up fantastic Look at that, super next thing we've done we've mounted the um fork mount for the bike just into the floor on um, insert nuts so they're nice and flush so when you don't want to use the bike or you're not going to bring it with you so say like me and Wendy go out for the weekend out for the you know a bit of camping and um, bike stays at home and then that is nice and flush underneath here the back part of this furniture flips over and that forms a nice u-shape and then the center section at the very front there as we're now looking in that flips over as well and that then forms your big bed i'm going to show you that in just a second once i've taken the bike out and just got that out of the way here it is as the bed so this side from here to the cabinets is a normal three quarter and the benefit that you have with the u-shape or this particular configuration is you've got this extra part up the top here now, whether you choose to sleep on that, it's up to you, but I think you'll find your shoulders will fit in there nicer and you'll just get a little bit more room between the two of you. So um, it's nice, just gives you a bit more space, doesn't it? So that's the sort of size of it. And um, we'll go around the back and you can see. So here around the back of the van, as you can see, the bed is full width and extending down on the driver's side, almost down, but obviously the part of that cupboard 
is obviously cut away into the bed otherwise you'd get no storage in there whatsoever we can do them as a full length bed and you just got a pod there that's going to house your uh, fridge and a little drawer above it um but then we can't do a full length top cabinet because obviously that top cabinet is then you know you can sit underneath it and probably knock your head whereas at least here you can't get underneath that section um so yeah again pros cons and uh compromise so we really like it because you can obviously spill into this section up here with your shoulders when you're sleeping so you get a little bit more width out of the bed than what you would normally with a three-quarter so you've got all the benefit of a, th a um, nice full width bed uh, but then you know folding away to then form that side pod nice seating arrangement u-shape um, if you wanted it configured that way or a full load through space so a quick couple of seconds on the bed as it would be made up and ready to uh, to sleep on so here we go um, i've made the bed up and you can see it's, it's a really nice space it's uh like i said it follows the same uh, sort of principle as the three-quarter rock and roll bed in terms of how far it's going to you know come down the van and of course you've just got that extra little bit in the top corner there where you can uh, just have a bit more shoulder room the best thing about it as well unlike some of the other u-shapes that are about is you can still access your little porta potty so down in this drawer it's not impeded by the bed at all so if you look at that so if you do need to get up in the middle of the night we've all been there uh, you know it's two o'clock in the morning no one wants to get out of the van and traipse across the campsite um there it is you got a little porta potty just hidden at the end there and it's accessible all the time so that's really great news and of course the other thing that's really important is you need access to the fridge because you want a cup of tea in the morning so you want to be able to get your milk so there it is i uh, love the dometic because you can put a really big you know uh, bottle of milk in there that's really handy and of course your drawers aren't impeded by the bedding either so you can still get full access to your drawers while the bed is out so um yeah just another little look at how it all goes and you know how we would be uh so you know getting yourself set up for uh, a cozy night away quick little tour around the cab area which is something that i don't think we've um spent too much time doing because we've normally got the roof up so you, you don't get to see um you know this absolutely amazing suede headliner that we've uh, that we've done so this is the cover panel of the skyline basically what that does is if we slide that back hides all your canvas which is why you want to put a cover panel on so if you're thinking about getting a skyline roof spec it with the um, cover panel uh, obviously it only works on t5s t6s uh, but yeah look at that makes it so much neater uh, another little thing we've got in this one is the continuation of the suede down the b pillars down the a pillar and we've got the amazing alpine component speakers uh, the factory fit speakers um go in the original little slots works with the uh, standard radio and uh, gives you some much uh, needed sounds now talking about sounds we do have another little feature which is underneath the rear we have a bluetooth sound set up so runs completely off the leisure battery and uh, has a little sub those two speakers so while you're parked up for the evening and uh, as long as it's appropriate to do so you don't want to turn yourself into an asbo camper but um it will go quite loud especially with the sub on it uh, but you can have um some nice little tunes if you're at a festival or something like that and you just want to you know you're cooking outside and uh yeah just chilling out with some tunes on in the background obviously like i said it's running off the leisure battery it's a really low consumption little stereo and uh you can just control it straight from your phone so another nice little gadget there i hope you like it thanks very much for watching please do drop your comments below i'll try and answer every one of them and um yeah we look forward to uh seeing you again in another video uh, please do hit the, the like button and subscribe to us um it really does help our content uh, be seen so other people can see what we're up to and our our ideas that we've got so that really does help us so thanks very much for watching and we'll see you soon
Cheers.